World leaders prepare to fly to Poland ahead of the critical COP24 conference on climate change. Two Swedish mums are spearheading a campaign to get people to not fly at all for all of next year. Maya Rosen and her neighbour Lotta Hammar launched a social media campaign asking people to pledge to give up air travel for 2019 and cut their personal contributions to greenhouse gases. According to the European Commission, air travel is responsible for around 3% of greenhouse gas emissions in Europe. All right, and Maya Rosen joins me now live I Skype from Styrso Island in Sweden. Maya, good to see you there. All right, from an ordinary citizen, I mean, what pushed you to do this? What made you do this? Well, I gave up flying about 10 years ago for climate reasons. And uh, ever since, I've been uh, struggling a bit to know how to speak to people when they talk about their flights. Uh, because part of me doesn't want to destroy the atmosphere, but uh, also we are in the middle of an acute climate crisis. So... Yeah. Um, yeah, you stopped 10 years ago, you said. So how do you go yeah. about doing that? And what is the message of this current campaign then? Uh, well, I think this one of the most important things you can do as an individual uh, is to give up flying. And also flying is one of the last things that people are willing to give up. So I think signing up for this campaign, sort of, it's, a, it's like a statement that symbolizes that you take the climate crisis seriously and that actually you're willing to do something. Uh, in order to solve the crisis. So it's also like a way to wake people up and realize that this is serious now and that we have to do something. I mean, people have shown support for your campaign on, online, on social media. What is uh, your goal here? Uh, well, our goal is to have 100,000 Swedes signing up. Uh, because the thing is with this campaign, you promise to take a year off from flying, but you only promise to do so if we reach the goal of 100,000 people. And if we do that, uh, we can together make a big difference for the climate. Uh, just uh, on a personal note, how do, you, how do you travel? I mean, how do you discover the world if you don't fly? What do you do? I think there's so many other ways that you can travel. Uh, I've spoken to so many people this year that has uh, already uh, made this decision. And uh, it's interesting because they all say that once you try traveling without flying, you instead, you appreciate what you actually can do without harming the climate so much more. And uh, I've spoken to people that has traveled all over the world um, by train, mm. for example, and uh, they say that uh, you see so much more of the country and you meet so many other people as well. So, And Maya, as politicians gather, just very quickly, what is your message to politicians? Well, I think, uh, I mean, we don't think uh, some individuals uh, refraining from flying will solve the climate crisis. I mean, we have to do everything we can now. And I think for the meeting in COP24, I do understand that some of the that some of the people will have to fly there, uh, but I think they have to uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, give us value for those emissions now by really taking this seriously. I have very high, high expectations on this meeting. All right, thank you very much, Maya Rosen. They're talking to us from Sweden.